This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for September 6, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, man charged for attempted murder along Palisados. 50-year-old Alex Francis of Williamsfield, Manchester, and a Cayman Islands address has been charged with attempted murder in connection with the attack on a man along the Palisados Main Road in Kingston on July 20. The Kingston Eastern Police say Francis took the victim to a section of the Palisados Main Road on a fishing trip. However, shortly after arriving at the area, Francis reportedly brandished a knife and inflicted a stab wound to the victim's upper body. The victim reportedly managed to wrestle the knife from Francis and allegedly used it to avert another attack, injuring Francis. A passing police officer saw Francis lying along the roadway and alerted the Kingston Eastern Police. Francis was assisted to the hospital. The victim was then found along another section of the roadway and was also assisted to the hospital. Charges were laid against Francis on Monday. 2. Accused of lottery scamming in Mobe. Detectives assigned to the Lottery Scam Task Force arrested and charged two men in St. James for breaches of the Law Reform Fraudulent Transactions Special Provisions Act following operations in the parish on Monday. 29-year-old Rox Roy Bacchus, a customer service supervisor of Mountain View Lane, West Gate Hills in St. James, has been charged with the possession of identity information. Meanwhile, 21-year-old Javar Maxwell, a special service agent of Over River St. James, has been charged with the possession of identity information and the possession of access device. The charge against the backers stems from allegations that he used his position at a call center to make adjustments to billing on customer accounts. Investigators also reportedly found several files with identity information of persons residing overseas during an on-site analysis of his cellular phone. Maxwell was charged after being handed over to the Lottery Scamming Task Force by members of the Jamaica Customs Agency Contraband Enforcement Team who arrested him at the Sanctuary International Airport. He reportedly arose their suspicion when he was observed making several withdrawals at an automated teller machine over a three-day period. During a search of his person, law enforcement officers allegedly found five debit cards labeled with identity information of persons residing overseas. They also analyzed the Maxwell's cellular phone and reportedly found the banking information of persons residing overseas. Both the men were charged after a question and answer session with their respective attorneys. A Lily housewife confesses to killing husband with hammer. The St. Elizabeth police have charged a 73-year-old housewife from Cabbage Valley District in the parish with the murder of her husband. Enid Townsend reportedly confessed to using a hammer to strike her husband, 74-year-old farmer Arthur Townsend, multiple times. The incident occurred on Saturday about 4 a.m. The police say the alleged confession revealed that the incident arose stemming from Townsend's late husband's omission of her name from his will. The disagreement escalated, resulting in her husband allegedly slapping her. She is slated to appear in the St. Elizabeth Parish Court on Thursday. Acting Superintendent Coleridge Minto, the head of the St. Elizabeth Police Division, expressed a deep concern regarding the increase in interpersonal conflicts and the domestic violence cases in the parish. He revealed that the division has recorded 20 murders since the beginning of the year, with 50% being attributed to interpersonal conflicts or domestic disputes. Superintendent Minto urged the residents facing disputes or conflicts to seek professional assistance through the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Domestic Violence Intervention Center or the Ministry of Justice's Restorative Justice Center located in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. Gunmen shoot an injured man in St. Catherine. The Spanish town police in St. Catherine have launched a manhunt for a group of gunmen who shot and injured a man in Crescent District on Tuesday afternoon. The man was walking along Melissa Crescent in the community about 5.30 p.m. when men reportedly drove up in a black Subaru motor car. Men reportedly alighted with guns and fired shots hitting the man. The men escaped in the waiting motor car. 
The victim was subsequently assisted to the Spanish Town Hospital, where he was admitted for injuries received. The Spanish Town Police have since launched an investigation into the matter. No motive has been established in the incident. Daily condemns the Waterloo triple murder, calls for national focus on reducing crime. Member of Parliament for St. Catherine Eastern, Denise Daly, says that there is a blanket of fear and a shock over the Waterloo community as a result of the triple killing on Tuesday morning. The bodies of three members of a family were found with what appeared to be bullet wounds inside their house. They are 43-year-old Omar Wellington, his 35-year-old wife Sharon Francis Wellington, who was pregnant, and their 16-year-old son, Orlando Wellington, who was a student at Inzwood High School. MP Denise Daly on Tuesday afternoon bemoaned the killing of the family and called for a national focus on reducing crime and violence, similar to what went into dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. We will have to give double the amount of attention to crime and violence in this country. I never know that we would have reached this stage in this country. I do not know what to do and to say. All I do know is that all entities, and especially the ones that deal with mental, social, and even economic cases, must come in now, sit at one table, not fragmented, to look at all these causes, the root causes that is causing so much violence in this country. Police preparing to charge a suspect in Westmoreland businesswoman's murder. The police are making arrangements to lay charges against one of two suspects involved in Monday's fatal shooting of a businesswoman in Little London, Westmoreland. The other suspect, identified as Odin Richard, was killed by a mob. The 20-year-old suspect, who is in custody, was rescued by a police team after he was also attacked by the mob. He is to be charged in connection with the murder of 39-year-old Lativa Helps, otherwise called Lati. Ms. Helps, who operated Lati's sports bar and restaurant along the Bay Main Road in Little London, was standing outside her business place when she was pounced upon by two men traveling on a motorcycle. Both men brandished handguns and opened gunfire at Ms. Helps, hitting her all over her body. The suspects were then chased by residents in the community. They were held and chopped all over their bodies by the angry residents. Ms. Helps and the men were taken to the hospital, where she and Richards were pronounced dead. The other wounded suspect was treated and released into the custody of the police. A firearm and several rounds of ammunition was turned over to the police by the residents. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.